What's up, everybody? DJ LaFave here, and you know I've been excited, excitedly waiting for this new feature to come out. It is make your own skin, essentially, for OBS Studio using the now playing songs inside of Virtual DJ. I'm going to show you all of the cool things that you can do with this, and then stay tuned at the end. I'm going to show you how you can add even more functionality by customizing each script it's just amazing. It is amazing. So here's a quick example right off the bat of what it can do. These are YouTube safe songs. So we're just going to have very simplistic beats going on right now. We got song one playing, right? Song one is playing over here. We're going to start playing song two and we're going to mix into it. When we mix into it, when we mix into it, check it out. We get our own skin right up there, right up top. We get our own skin. It's going to stay on, go off. This is all because and thanks to Touch Portal uh, and their virtual DJ that's it. Every time you change a song, we're, we're, we're going to throw another song up in here. We're going to play it, and it's going to change it. But wait, there's more. There's more. I also have this set up inside of Touch Portal so that every time that I play a new song, it's going to send a Twitch chat out. So it's going to automatically chat for me inside of my Twitch. I, I can show you a little bit more advanced how to do this on Mixcloud in the future. Very, very simple to do for Twitch. So it's automatically going to add the now playing song as a chat message inside Twitch. And, and check it out. It's also going to send a tweet out of what it is that you're doing. If you guys aren't already following Touch Portal and Virtual DJ or myself, go give us a follow on Twitch I'm sure, or Twitter. I'm sure there's a whole bunch of great information on it. So now that you can see what it can do, I'm sure you're like, man, how can I get it? How can I do it? Show me, DJ LaFave, show me. Well, I'm wearing a green hat with a little bit of red because it's Christmas early today for this one. It's Christmas time is early right now. I hope you guys are loving this. Like and subscribe as we go through the steps. First and foremost, you need Virtual DJ Professional License. You also need the Touch Portal Pro License to make this work. Those are the two things that you need to have. Virtual DJ, DJ License has a couple of different tiers of what you can pay, pay for, but the Touch Portal Pro License is $14, and it's a lifetime license. Once you have that, we're going to go to this, this link right here. It's going to be in the description. This is for the Virtual DJ plugin. What you're going to do with this is you're going to click download. When this box pops up, if you do not have Java version 8 installed on your computer, make sure you get it and install that first. If and when you do have that, then go proceed to download for this specific plugin. Now we're going to go inside of Touch Portal and you're going to install that plugin. To install it, go to the cogwheel on the top right, go to import plugin. A window pops up and hopefully it's inside of your your folder with all of your great stuff for you to download and install. And we're just going to select the Virtual DJ plugin right here. And then a window is going to pop up. It's going to install. It's going to ask you, do you want to trust this? Yes. Trust this. Trust always. Trust always. Now, I already have this installed. Hopefully, everything just stays fine. Now, there's the one setting change, setting, setting that you have to do in the beginning. This is how you set this up. It's going to be a listener. This is going to be listening to actions that are happening inside of Virtual DJ. This is just a game changer for live streaming DJs, a total game changer. You wanna do an online radio show, you wanna do spinning spinning music online, you know, all that stuff, it's all available here now, ready for you to go. So we're gonna go into plugins in the settings tab, go and find your Virtual DJ plugin. Now, make sure your IP address is correct and your port is correct. This is right now set up as your, as your computer. So you shouldn't have to touch the first one or the second one. In order to get the artist name and the, art, uh, the song title that is playing, you're going to have to put this right here, the query scripts, deck space, active space, get artist, and then that's a uh, semicolon. And then we're going to do deck active space get title. This is going to be right below in the description. So you can just copy and paste it right into here. Set your query delay. I figured this out to be 350 milliseconds is the sweet spot. That's fast enough to make this thing happen almost instantaneously, but not too fast is where you're going to miss some data. So put those two into those spots and then you are good to go right there. Restart touch portal because sometimes it just needs a little restart. You're going to go into events. The events is in the global tabs up top here. It's called events because this is automatically going to do stuff for you. It's automatically going to do things. Um, we're going to dive into an event that I pre-created. You're more than welcome to jump on my Discord to get a screenshot of this or just pause your video to see what it looks like. 
Uh, what we are going to be doing with this is it's VDJ title. This is really like your your on now playing skin. This is what mine looks like to accomplish everything that you just saw right there. So inside of OBS Studio, I have a song artist and a song title, right? I have two text sources with that individually. I'm also using the OBS extended uh touch portal plugin you could also just write these individually to a text file and then read them inside of obs studio this will also work for streamlabs desktop version uh, all it is is just just uh you're just passing data so what we're doing here is we're going to say vdj title this is just whatever whatever title you want to have there and we're going to select right down here when values when plugin state changes okay that is what you're going to want to select you can queue it up if you want to you really don't have to touch these two right here at all so what we're going to do is we're going to say when plug in state we're going to go down here to virtual dj plug in and it's going to be get title this is already going to show up because we pre-programmed it get title and you select that it's going to go in there does not change to make sure you select does not change to and leave this blank so basically, when the title of the song does not change to nothing, it's going to trigger this event. That is our trigger for this event. So we're going to now set the get your scene, get the song artist, and we're going to change the value to this. You click the little plus button over here. The artist is going to be down here, virtual DJ plugin, virtual DJ, get artist. You click on that. And then this whole long script comes in here. Touch Portal is going to be updating their software soon. So hopefully this long, long, long text won't be showing up. Now we're also going to do the same thing for the second one. Go to your tech, your title source, go plus, go plug in, uh, virtual DJ, and then we're going to get the artist. So those now are going to be updating inside of when, when you go into, into your, your OBS. You see that right there. That is what it is. Now, I created a little move source transition. I added that into this whole thing. So you see how it has a move source transition, also very easy to do, but I'm not gonna get into that on this stream. If you wanna learn how to do that, just let me know in the comments or on my Discord. I'll be happy to do a video. But we want We got a lot of information to cover right now in this video. So for this one, I'm actually turning on the, let's turn it on right there. I'm gonna wait five seconds, and then this is gonna turn it off, right? This one right here is a Twitch chat message. Basically, you just you, you go up here and you write Twitch, right? And then you say send chat message. And then all you're going to do is say DJ LeFave is now playing. Don't use my name. Use your name. It's much better. You, DJ LeFave, I'll do this all from scratch, right? We're going to delete this. We're going to say now playing right here. Click the space and then do a plus button. And then we're going to add the actual variable. We're going to be virtual DJ. It's playing title. So that's the title of the song. And then we're going to say space by. And then you're going to add the variable again right here and get uh, the artist. So now it's going to send a Twitch message. Every time a new title pops up, it's going to send a Twitch chat message to the chat from you saying now playing this song by whomever, right? We're going to do the same exact thing. You can actually just, just copy and paste this if you want. You could copy it, and then you go into here, send a, out a tweet. Send out a tweet with the message, DJ LeFave is now playing. We're going to put the variable, and then buy, and the variable. That's it. Now it's going to send out a tweet with what you're playing. This is it. This is literally it, guys. And you can customize this however you want inside of OBS, but you now have the ability to do that because of this plugin and what it can do. Now, I said early on that it could do more, right? This stuff can do so, so much more. Uh, what it can do, let's just go to uh, VDJ Verbs, right? We're going to go to VDJ Verbs. I'll put this link in the description as well. Anything, anything with the get underscore, anything with the get underscore right here, it can pull this information out now. So when the CPU activity change, when the clock changes, when the BPM changes, so uh, if we, we get, if we go get BPM, uh, so just some ideas you could throw out there so you can get the BPM, right? So it's going to get the BPM number when the BPM changes above 120 Change a scene inside of OBS or start shooting off fireworks You could do anything that will automatically happen in your stream Just based off of the music that you are playing total total game changer of a plugin now I did fail to mention hopefully you guys are still tuned in when you're saying this doesn't work with I already did a video on how to install the plugin I forgot this step make sure that you have in the extensions 
I believe it's under effects other network. Is that it? Network. Yep. It's under effects and other. You need to have the network control plugin installed. So make sure you have that installed. And that is what allows Touch Portal to talk to Virtual DJ. So very, very amazing stuff. We're, we're going to do a couple more here. Hey, how about how about some some uh, some auto mix, right? We'll do some auto mix. There we go. We got one song playing right now. And now we're going to mix it to the next one. As soon as it mixes, it's going to trigger. We've got tweets going off. We got ch we got chat messages going off in tw in, uh, in Twitch, tweets in Twitter. It's so much amazing fun. We're gonna we're gonna mix it again. How about the next song? The next song. Oh, another one's coming on. Hey, look, artist number five is playing. Exactly, exactly correct. Exactly correct. This is just amazing. Now we're gonna mix it again, and it works with auto mix. So as auto mix is playing, you're gonna get all of this this automatically popping up here automatically showing up in your chat it's everything under the sun that we could have ever wanted to make that full customization and interactive activities for our viewers i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial i'm really really super excited about this if anything did not make sense in this because again i've been working with the developer one-on-one -on -one. it's been very very great working with chris uh over in the touch portal labs we'll call it and this has just been so much fun to make like subscribe follow we'll always have the best information coming for you to do these fun interactive activities that only enhance your live streams again have questions leave them out there i'm lafave i hope you guys are as pumped about this as i am i'll check you on the next live stream out